All right, so I am not a Cajun, and I'm not even from Louisiana, but my friend Eddie is, and since Mardi Gras is coming up, he sent me um, he sent me some some uh, Louisiana goodies. So I'm gonna use this stuff, and um, I don't. Yeah, I don't profess to be a gumbo cooker or a jambalaya cooker, but I think what I want to do is use this and kind of make a um, uh, gumbo laya, like a mixture of both. So I brought some I brought some stuff out here with me, and uh, I'm gonna cook it up in my my Dutch oven and uh, see how it, see how it turns out. I'm gonna have some some special coffee too. He sent me. From Louisiana. Anyway, uh, come on. Cheers. I need this for my, for my, uh, gumbo laya, I'm going to call it, a mixture of both, a mixture between jambalaya and gumbo. I don't know if it's really a thing, but. Since I'm not from Louisiana, I'm allowed to do it. All right, like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, I'm just kind of winging this. But I, I, I divided what Eddie gave me in half because it was 11, 11 servings. So I, I divide it in half, and this I'll put with three cups of broth. It says water, but I'm going to use chicken broth. Of course, I'm going to put the... Louisiana or Cajun Trinity in it, you know, celery, bell pepper, and onion. A couple proteins I'm using. I got a boneless chicken, boneless skinless chicken thigh. I got some um, crawdads. I got some shrimp over there. And then I'm going to use this um, andouille sausage and, um, and okra. I think that's all I need. Let's get to cooking. Cool knife and my cool sheath. 
from Dwayne and James. Huh? Huh? Love it. Um, I'm going to cut all this stuff up and put it in my canteen cup. I noticed when I was dividing that, that mix up that it has some dehydrated peppers and onions and stuff in it. So, anyway, you know how I roll. I just kind of want to put my own twist on it. All right, there we go. That'll work for the veggies. I'm gonna put that okra in later. I think that if I put that in now, it'll just it'll just disintegrate. But I'll put that in later. Wait a minute. Smells good enough to eat already. I mean, it's already cooked. That, that, that sausage, I think it is. Fully cooked. Yeah, but some oils will still come out of it, which I'll, I'll let get into my veggies, into the chicken and stuff. It'll be good. It's going to be good. I can tell already. Okay. Anyway, look at these big old... Big old head-on shrimp. Look at that, look at that. Giants, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm putting that in there. But these will be the very last thing to go. Look at them babies, look at that. I'm gonna throw my mix in now. There's rice in here. Sometimes I like to kind of, I, I like to cook my rice a little bit with no liquid, just kind of toast it a little bit. And I imagine this powder, it's gonna form some kind of a roux down in there probably. I don't know, I never used this before. We don't, we don't have this here, but what I'm gonna do. I just wanna stir that up a little bit. Where's my spoon from Quinn? I gotta find my spoon. I'll be right back. If there ever was a spoon made for cooking, gumbo laya, this is it right here. Thanks, Carrie. There's a real possibility I may not be adding any Texas Pete to this. I can, I can smell the, the heat in it. Nah, I probably still will. Heck, I'm putting it all in here. Chop that chicken up a little bit. Oh yeah. Just look like it needs some tomato juice in there. I've kind of been going back and forth about should I leave these heads on. I might, I might as well. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these shrimp up before I put them in there. I am. Um, I am gonna put the crawdads in their hole though. Yeah. These are uh, called reds, big reds, and you know what? Some people get some people freak out about that. 
I don't. I mean, you know, it's uh, it kind of is gonna boil away anyway, right? Oh yeah, perfect. This is that coffee that Eddie sent me, Mardi Gras edition. <laughs> King cake. Festive blend of cinnamon spice and sweet vanilla flavor. And I've had some of it already at home. It's real good. But I'm just going to do it cowboy style in my pot there. And it might be about time it might be about time to Smells great. I think I'm gonna put those shrimp in and the crawfish. I'm and then I'm just gonna take it off the heat. I think I'm yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll put it in there maybe like for one minute, let it boil, and then I'm I'm just gonna take it off the heat. Because those shrimp don't take much. And the crawdads are already or crawfish, whatever you call them. Um, they're already cooked. Mmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this off now. Eddie, the same same fella that gave me this stuff. He he made this spoon, gave it to me a couple years ago. Fits good in the mess kit. Anyway, I'm fixing to have some coffee and eat me some uh, gumbo laya. And I might I'm, I might need this. I don't know yet. All right, first I get some coffee. Time to eat.
pretty spicy, but I'm just gonna put a little bit, little bit on. You know, Eddie gave me some hot sauce too, but I left it at home. I'm, I am sorry, Eddie. I, I will, and I haven't tried it yet. That I, but I will. I, I promise. Dang, I just remembered that. I'm sorry about that. Coffee's great. It goes with this perfect. Chicken. Spicy. Crawfish. Would clear your sinuses out that's for sure well I guess happy Mardi Gras to you and Eddie I want to thank you again for sending me this stuff it was real good hey I guess I I'm gonna finish this and I might even get a second helping but there's about five more helpings in there and if you were here I would share but since you didn't show up I guess I'll take it home but hey anyway hey if this is the first time you've ever been here and you like this kind of stuff why don't you consider hitting that subscribe button down there and uh that way i won't miss you on the next one anyway see you later bye here i am cleaning up man i just remembered or i just figured out that i didn't put my okra in there bummer i will next time don't forget the Suck the heads. <laughs>